Whatever, we'll just wait until we get in here. So if I recall, which now I'm kind of recalling before I didn't, um... We're involved in some meeting or something we need to go here for? I don't quite remember everything, but, uh... Are we looking for kids? What the fuck are we doing here, actually? Or maybe that's the uh, that's the mission. We're looking for some chillin'. I think. Yeah, okay, we did that, we did that. Now we've gotta, um, first head to Royal Villa and talk to Raymond. I'll need a water first. Since the Royal Villa is in custody of a lost child, child is in Taurus, blah blah blah. You are chillin'. You silly pigeons have been going cuckoo since like forever. Why you tell nothing to me? Hey sis, the pigeons, they're d going poo poo. I just face palmed. Our family comes out to the royal villa often. After all, the queen was good enough to open it to us citizens. I couldn't bear not to be able to use it. For what? Just having them play with pigeons? As long as you get the permission from the villa, you can eat here in the garden. Don't you think it'd be perfect for a family group thing? It really is a great spot for a picnic. Hmm. Of course they have to talk about food when I'm quite hungry. But then again, I always stream when I'm hungry, so... Oh dear, oh dear, the braces will be here any minute. Where could she have gone? Hello? Ah, uh, yes, yes, may I ask what to... Uh... Oh, uh, oh, you're, you're, are you... Hey, been a while. <laughs> oh, well, I guess you remember us. Ah, uh, how could I forget? We all owe you greatly for what you did at the villa. So I take it you were the team Lil Nan said would be coming? Yep, that's right. Is everything okay, though? You seem kinda troubled. It's about that lost child, actually. She's, um, how to put this? Lost again. She told me, let's play hide and seek, and just vanished. Oh. God, this reminds me of a friend of mine, who apparently... I don't think JHK is here, but he would... He just met her a couple nights ago. Apparently my friend in a game decided to play hide and seek. It, it had nothing to do with hide and seek. And one of my friends, my other friends, almost rage quit the damn game trying to find her. And she was that damn good at doing it. And this just reminds me of something she would do. Yeah, let me go play hide and seek and just disappear. I've been looking for her ever since. Um, crap. Uh, I'll find her soon, I swear. Please, wait in the lounge. You know where that is, right? No. Well, yeah, I do, but you look like you're having some trouble. You're sure you don't want a hand? Are you sure? I wouldn't want to impose. Hey, we're already on the case, right? Tell us the name and what she looks like, and we'll get looking. Oh, thank you. She's a preteen girl wearing a white frilly dress and black hair ribbon. She never gave me her name, though. You didn't find out her name? Seriously? She wouldn't tell me. Every time I asked, she just said it's a secret. I think she came in with her family, but I couldn't find her parents or anyone who knew her. My only option was to call you, in the end. I... Uh, I see. Hide and seek, huh? Energetic little girl you got there. Mm, I'm not sure I'd say energetic. Precious and whimsical is more like it. Or whatever I did read that wrong, whatever. I got the distinct impression that she was enjoying toying with the adults around her. Ooh, a prank loving kitten and then Oliver, please stay away from the little girl. You brought the wrong person on this mission. Yes, exactly. Uh, where could she have gotten off to? I'm fairly sure she hasn't left the building, but... In other words, we must search the entire building, including the courtyard. Huh, a perfect place for a game of kitten and mouse. I'll wait in the lounge then. When you find her, please bring her there. 
Well, d wait, I thought you were gonna go looking too, damn it. He's just gonna go off and grab a snack. Okay, let's hunt us down a kitten child. So, white dress, black hair ribbon. What's good searching? I initially, except <laughs> for JHK, can't even watch this. I was just talking about, though, since you're here, I'm not doing anything huge right now. Since you're here, man, I was just talking about, you just met, um, Star a couple of days ago on JK. And remember the story she was telling about how she almost made my friend Andrew rage quit the game by hide and seek? That's what this entire situation just reminds me of. Hide and seek rage quit. Well, I guess we should first check the courtyard since we were just out there and it's right in front of us. gonna guess that Skyrim ended well. <laughs> well! Yeah, well, that's, um, <laughs> funny, JHK. Well. Hmm. <laughs> See you then, JHK. Good for being here, man. I seen a girl in a white dress. No, oh, yes and no. After all, despite how marvelous I look, I've lived over 70 years. Holy fucking shit, are you kidding me? I'm sure I've seen at least one girl in a white dress, but I couldn't say when or where. <laughs> Why aren't you fucking useless? Suppose you could use this opportunity to stream then? I mean, I'm only gonna be streaming probably for like an hour or so. Okay, we're not gonna try talking to those kids. Uh, what? A girl in a white dress? Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't see her. Right, you. You might have. You're looking for a girl in a white dress? I'm sorry, I don't think I'll be of any help. I'm too busy contemplating jumping in and ending it all in the pond. Hmm, a girl in a white dress. I've seen a number of girls, but I don't remember how they all looked. I'm really sorry, would you mind asking someone else? You're impeding on my picnic while trying to figure out what the birds are actually saying. I think I might have a sub tonight for dinner. I love how this is what I'm thinking about while hunting for this poor girl who's lost. Yeah, what am I gonna eat for dinner? Hmm. Girl disappears, but oh, yeah, never mind, you're a girl. But it's like she's trying to tease me. I'm not letting her get away with it. I'm going to beat her when we find her. Now, now, all we can do is calm down and search carefully. That girl might have some reasons of her own for hiding. Like she's a mad cunt and just wants to cause problems. Oh my god, there are so many nooks and cranny, and I've got to remember all of these areas. Okay, let's first start in the center. Oh, a girl wearing a white dress. Now that you mention it, I think I saw someone like that playing around here. Do you know where she went? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't quite remember. You know, the being old, the mental issues. God darn it. Hey, does this fountain run on orbital energy too? Dad said lots of things run on orbital energy in the world. <laughs> He's such a romanticist, what? If he is a prince, then I suppose that makes me the princess. What the fuck are you talking about? Hmm, I see. This villa certainly feels worthy of royalty. I'm almost sounding like Oliver. Just being here makes me feel like I've become a prince myself. No. The worst thing, though, is that we have to listen to this fucking royal music. This is not my favorite track in this game, by any means. There. There's no one near the bench. She's not behind the bench or the planter. Hey, maybe she's in the planter. Oh, come on. It's not a damn cat. Yeah, I guess not.
Oh, this is gonna be mind-numbingly annoying, isn't it? I can sense it. I can feel the rage slowly beginning to bubble up. There's a book. Maybe she wrote where she went. Is there a book you're looking for? A girl? No, I haven't seen her. Unless she's in a book. But I got books, man. You want these books? We're getting rid of them 50% off. You're not gonna check to see if she's under the bed? I mean, that's like the most common child hiding spot ever. Under the bed. You should probably look there. Maybe she hid herself in the glass cabinet. She has become the display. Fine art is lined up here. This seems suspicious. This part presented by the Republic Ambassador is quite lovely. Look at the implied lines written all upon the lower part of the vase. And the upper vase just has exquisite coloring, truly wonderful art. <clears throat> I mean, yep, the Republic sure has some nice pottery. I can spot their quality from an arms away. D -v -v. But is she in the pot? Is she in the plate? And this is the pot that had the spare key when we freed the manor. And this is sort of an actual kid-sized pot, so maybe she's in here. Are you kidding me? For one thing, how the hell would she squeeze through the opening? <laughs> good point. Agate being all like, man, shut the fuck up, you don't even know what the hell you're on about. That's an Imperial pot, sis. It's written right on the label, all you have to do is read. Ah, oh, talking about eye roll inducing. This is gonna take a while, probably. Well, here's the whole stream. Playing fucking hide and seek with a little girl. She's probably back there hiding with like the queen or something. Maybe she's hiding under here. Hmm. Eh, I didn't think so. <laughs> Putting that aside, bending over in your current outfit may not be wise, Estelle. Oh god, really? Huh? How to put this delicately? You're. Unmentionables are now quite mentionable. <laughs> Excuse me? You're not wrong, Estelle. You ain't wearing shorts anymore, so be careful, yeah? Uh, um, right. <laughs> and you're literally an entire group of men with you. Good job, Estelle. <laughs> Damn it. Of all the people to tell her, Oliver, of course Oliver would. Why wouldn't he? Okay, that door is apparently locked. The Liberal Kingdom is quite small on the map, and yet it feels anything but now that I'm actually here. The people are kind, and no matter where I go, the view is breathtaking. Be terrible. The people are not kind, they're only kind when you pay them to be. Again, not checking under the beds, that's wonderful. I just skipped everything you just said. Oops. See that again. I am Walter, a senator in the Republic's Parliament. I've come a bit early in order to inspect the site and prepare for the siding ceremony. <clears throat> you children wouldn't understand any of that because you're not senators. Yeah, posh government bullshit. Is that Duke Dunant? Oh my god, it is. He's late. Too late, I say. Curse you, Philip. How much time does it take just to purchase a magazine and some donuts? <laughs> oh, donuts. Maybe he got the jizz-filled donuts. Duke Dunant would have a jizz-filled donut fetish. We found the man. How long does he intend to keep me- Hey! 
you. You. Oops, we did kind of beat you upside the head when we raided the... the castle. So, yeah, you probably do remember getting beat upside the head. And also, you still have a shit haircut. Um, what's up with this dude? So, this is where you've been duking on. What's going on? <clears throat> have you no shame, you brigand? Because of you? Because... All because of you! I've been forced into this life of shame, and also rest of all things. Okay, I don't think it's really fair to say it's our fault. You're the one who brought, uh, bought into Colonel Richard's plan, you know. You should probably count yourself lucky it's only house arrest, given what you did. You were this Ebonia, your nobility would only serve to speed you to the gallows. <sighs> I confess that imprisoning Her Majesty was out of line, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Richard may have suggested it, but I should have ga gainsayed him. So, you can actually admit you were wrong about that whole deal. That's pretty humble coming from you. Do not misunderstand me. I love and respect Her Majesty. That is such bullshit. As both a ruler and an aunt, she is utterly above reproach. <clears throat> you just continue to bullshit. But to consider naming a little girl like Claudia as her successor is simply madness. Unacceptable insanity. Now, just a second. Chloe's smart, studious, kind, merciful. Oh, here we go. Fucking strong, independent woman. She don't need no man. She's got all kinds of virtues that attract people to her. Where do you get off calling her a little girl, huh? That's my point. It may well be that she's possessed of incredible potential, yes. But does she really possess the mindset required to become the next queen? Uh, well, no, she doesn't, Estelle. Claudia has always seemed allergic to attending public ceremonies. I'm far better known among the citizenry, while she remains a veritable ghost. She's yet to once publicly demonstrate that she's ready to stand above others. Still, why, from what I understand, she's hiding her true identity while living as a student. And if that weren't enough, she wastes her time at some backwater orphanage. Wow, this guy's a real asshole. She should be presiding over the common rabble at ceremonies, not wallowing in the mud with them. That is the purpose of nobility. To stand above all other men in lordship. No, oh, Jesus, he's beginning to get the Baptist voice. <laughs> I'll admit, I don't really know much about the purpose of nobility, so you might have a point. <laughs> of course I do. I can say this. Chloe is trying- oh, for fuck's sake, Estelle. Chloe's trying her hardest to figure out what she wants to be and is helping us out in the middle of her own problems. And she sure as hell is doing a lot more than some dude who sits around doing nothing because he's under house arrest. What? How dare you? You can judge whether Chloe can be a queen once she found her answer. Heck, I bet even you'll accept her then. Oh my God. He, he choked on his semen donut. This is absurd. I will deal with this no further. Be gone. Trust me, I don't want to stick around. But come to think of it, I... Need to kind of. I gotta ask one thing. Has a girl in a white dress come by here? What are you talking? No, no little girls have come by. Be gone. Yeah, sure. Enjoy your donuts or whatever. <laughs> uh... <sighs> I'm fighting the urge to strangle that guy. You already did that in first chapter, Estelle. When I fought this guy the first time. When we really shouldn't have fought of him, honestly. But when I did, I literally just unloaded my freaking best attack from Estelle on him and insta-killed him. I was like, yep, done. Even though it's better to not actually attack him when you do that fight, you get more bracer points or some shit. He's all acting like he's the most innocent person in the world while insulting Chloe at the same time. Meh, it's a little bit, okay? You ask me, you does kind of have a point. 
people or leaders can't ever show their confusion to others. They need to at least look like they think they know what they're doing all the time. But Chloe is hey, you don't need to tell me. She knows even without that guy saying a word, I'm sure. Just let her find her own answer, and it'll work out. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, let's get back to finding our lost girl. Right. So she ate in the main thing. Oh god, we should save it after all that damn dialogue. Maybe she's in the plant! Really, how has nobody seen this little girl? Is this girl, like, actually one of the fucking enforcers? A lovely podium here. You peek inside, and no one's inside of it. And hopefully you don't bend over while doing it, Estelle. Oh, I'm so sure this was it. <laughs> Doesn't look like we'll grab her tail that easily. This is the crest room where the non-aggression pact signing ceremony will be held. Huh. Is that so? Yes, of course on the day itself there won't just be ambassadors from the Empire and Republic. There'll also be representative from our liberal kingdom present. I didn't really get a chance to look at this place when I was here during the coup d'etat. Now that I'm really looking at it, this is a pretty dignified looking room. Absolutely. That's why I always work extra hard when I clean it. <laughs> I'm not great at cleaning, but I understand how you feel. Well, good luck with that, Gambate and all that shit. <laughs> yes, thank you. Now let me clean my pots in peace. So, where the fuck is this woman? Or girl, whatever, because we just checked kind of everything. And she ain't nowhere to be around. Fuck me. I still think this is suspicious. I still think it's dumb that you ain't checking under the damn beds. Come on now. Girls probably hid under every one of them just running back and forth before we did anything. Nobody has seen this girl. I see nothing of where she could be. Maybe she just jumped in the fucking moat and died. That's a, uh... That's a plausible thing, right? Hmm, seems like she's not hiding around here, huh? Really, that girl making fools of grown-ups. wonder if Raymond hasn't already found her. Maybe he has, because I sure as fuck haven't. Uh, let me go check the courtyard again. Now check under your bench, good sir. A girl in a white dress? Well, there's been a lot of people today, so... Uh, sorry, I don't remember every single visitor. Huh? A girl? I'm sorry, I don't have a clue. I'm, I'm supposed to be on lunch. Johnson hasn't showed up.
Maybe we can just fish her out of there. She's just in there, and we've got to fish her up. Holy fuck, where is this girl? We're literally gonna spend the entire damn stream trying to find this woman. Jesus Christ, or girl, whatever. First, we spend all of Skyrim trying to fight three dragons, and now we have to find this little girl, please. She's like hiding behind the fucking drapes? Where is she? I've looked in every damn room! We haven't looked in here, apparently. This is now unlocked. Hey, <clears throat> did you manage to find her? No, nope, couldn't find a single hair. I swear we've covered every hiding place, too. That's unfortunate. You don't think she left the village, do you? <laughs> What'd make this interesting? Uh, she's really playing hide-and-seek. I don't think she would, though. You're supposed to hide in a place you can get to by walking not too far from the start point. Kinda suspect she's just in some place we haven't thought to check yet. Eh, good point. So we keep searching, then. Holy, holy, oxen free- What the fuck does that mean? What does this mean? I, I guess we keep searching, because I don't know what the hell that even means. Yeah, let's try changing tactics. What? Don't mind me, Duke. I'm just gonna search your room. I'm not talking to you again. Have I really, like, fucking searched everywhere? Is she really nowhere to be found? I can't actually do anything with the view for that. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna save it. I don't know what the fuck Oli, Toli, whatever the hell they're talking about is. That doesn't make any sense. Well, let's try it. What's up, Estelle? We gonna keep searching? No, we're doing this. Not exactly what I want to do, but I think it's time we gave up. But if we give up, how will we find her? In hiding seek, when it person gives up, they run around saying Oli, Oli, Oxen Free to show they give up and let the other players know they can come out. If we do that, the girl should come out and hide, hopefully. Oh, I see. Estelle, you do realize that beckoning one to come hither by shouting gibberish would be humiliating for most. Then again, I've found that there are certain degrees of humiliation which are most pleasurable. Oh god. Well, shall we? I mean, she already bent over in front of all of you. How much more humiliation can she get? Alright guys, let's belt it. Repeat after me, holy holy oxen free, and they scream it. No. Meow. What? Eh. She's... Really? So let me get this straight, if I went back there, would I have found her? <laughs> yeah, I win, I win. You again, yeah I know it's you. What the? You have a girl we met at Air Latin. Knew it. <laughs> Hello, miss. I'm happy you remembered me. I'm very. Con I'm considering reloading it just to see if I could actually have found her. G 
goodness, I wasn't expecting her to be an acquaintance of yours. Well, yes, you can. Fuck me. That's probably bracer points I just lost there. I'm a little annoyed by this again. So, your name is Ren, right? Or Reen, whatever. We're calling her. What did I call her before? Renee? She's Renee now. That's right. Sorry to keep it a secret, mister. No, you aren't, you prick. Hey, don't worry, you're just an asshole. But, Renee, why'd you run off and play hide and seek like that? I was worried. Because I heard Mrs. Estelle is coming. She is definitely part of the fucking Orboros people. Er. Her parents are. Somebody is related to fucking Orboro. She's creepy. I wanted to play hide and seek with her, so I worked really hard to find a nice hiding spot. <laughs> well, okay. Kind of incredible you knew it was us coming, though. Yeah, like impossible. You said your braces, right? I heard some braces would be coming. We are, yeah, but we're not the only braces in the world, you know. Could have been someone else. But I believe. I knew you'd be the ones who'd come. And see, you did. I guess I can't argue against that logic. Well, more the point. Why are your mom and dad, kiddo? Why are you playing around here on your own? What are you looking at? That's enough out of you, mister. You have no idea how to speak to a young lady. I swear to God, I'm going to absolutely take a Gate sword and cleave her in fucking two. Oh, but... Well, I, Lady Renee, am feeling generous today, so I'll forgive you. I so want to punt her against the wall right now. Anyway, where did Papa and Mama go? I'm not sure, so sure either. Wait, you don't know? Not at all. I came here with Papa and Mama to play, but after lunch, Papa gave me a real serious look and said, Renee, Papa has something important to do, so he and Mama have to say goodbye for now. But don't worry, once it's done, we'll come and get you. Be a good girl until Papa comes back, alright? <laughs> they just... What the hell? I'm already 11, so I said, I'll be good, Papa. Except, you're not. And after Papa and Mama left... You have seriously gotta be good to me. I... I certainly wasn't expecting something like that. What should we do? This seems to be quite a bit beyond just finding her parents at this point. <sighs> yeah, tell me about it. Gate, you think we should? Yeah, well, that's fine. It's part of the job, and we can't just leave her here. Don't worry, Raymond. We'll take care of this girl for now. Mm hmm? Hey, Renee. Wanna visit the Capitals Bracer Guild with us? Oh, sure. Let her just fucking infiltrate the guild. I guarantee. T you, this is Orboros bullshit right up in this. Guarantee it. I bet we'll be able to find your papa and mama easy peasy. Really? But papa and mama said they had something important to do and to wait here. It's okay, we'll definitely find them. Trust in Mrs. Stell, okay? I wouldn't trust in you to save my life. Uh, okay then, I'll go with you. Thank you, Mrs. Stell. It's okay, stick close by though, Renee. I don't want you to get a little hurt. Or lost, that too. <laughs> Thank you again. I take good care of her. Leave with us. We might just accidentally fucking punt her off the castle's moat, but you know, it's good. So we'll be fine. Like Estelle said, back to the guild house. Oh, I've got a escort. I'm really kind of annoyed that I didn't look back there, because that was... I was thinking about it when I went to go talk to him, but then when it gave me the option, I was like... Well then, okay, there's- it, they, they did it all, we did everything, but that's kind of fucking infuriating. Where am I going? I love how we're all running and she's just like, lightly trotting behind us. Yeah, I'm, I'm- I'm very unhappy about this. Okay, how do we get back to the guild?
Hopefully I didn't miss any short-term quests or anything, because that would be annoying too. I'd just be immensely annoyed at that point. And we looked at the map and went in the wrong direction. Wonderful. Man, am I good. The exact opposite direction. Great. how they're just flying sharks in the air. Like, yeah, this is normal, man. Just your everyday, uh, flying sharks. Nothing strange about this. Nothing at all. I'm so glad they improved the music for the little, like, traveling areas in the second chapter. This... Going from that music, which is amazing, to this music is just amazing upon amazing music. As were before it would have been to that other soundtrack, which I wasn't particularly fond of. Ah, uh, yes, you are. What? Oh, Philip. Oops. Huh? Oh, hey, it's Philip. Mrs. Stell, it's been some time since we last met. Have you been here in the villa recently? Yeah, we have, actually. I guess you had to go to Grantsel for some reason? Yes, I was making some purchases on the orders of His Highness the Duke. Jizz filled the donuts he seems to be particularly fond of. Did you, perhaps, chance to encounter His Highness while you were at the villa? We encountered him, alright. From your expression, I take it he said something thoughtless to you once again. As his retainer, you have my utmost apologies. And, uh, he wasn't really rude to me, specifically. No need to apologize. I wasn't bothered one bit, I swear. This music's a tad overpowering my voice. I'm gonna turn it down a bit, at least while I'm talking. Your kindness does you credit, Mrs. Snell. Now I feel I must be off. If you'll pardon me, these jizz-smelled donuts are beginning to... Spoil and smell weird. I, I said smell don't. Uh, whatever. Disgusting fetishes of fat and goop, man. <sighs> As Philip's job is even harder now. Been taking care of Denon since Denon was young, right? Huh? You really shouldn't underestimate him. Even I can tell he's not just any old guy. Huh? What do you mean, Renee? What is this guy, Orboros, now? Fuck it, everyone's part of the Orboros, screw it. I'm just gonna assume everyone I meet is Orboros. Um, you know, like how he can walk with his eyes closed? I sure couldn't do that. I think you're just narrowed, Renee. I'm not closed. I mean, you noticed how he opens his eyes when surprised, right? Really? I didn't. I wanna see, I wanna see. Yeah, I can get a good look if I surprise him next time. No. Grantsel is this way. If I can just change the view and not lift my fingers. The jizz is dripping on his hands, yeah. <laughs> it's getting hot, beginning to smell a little weird, getting sticky. He accidentally squeezed one of them when he was handed it. Really, it's a mess. Damn, Dunan really just needs to get his shit together. Okay, let's get back to the guild. We need to talk to Nan about Rene. Where's that, but army contracts should be showing up soon. You didn't forget about that, right? Oh, uh, well, for crying out loud. Huh? What's wrong? You said you're gonna show me to the guild place, right? Huh. <laughs> well, my lady, please lend me your hand. I, Olivia Lenheim, shall be the honor of escorting you. No thank you. I'd rather Mrs. Estelle to show me. My disappointments are ceaseless! <laughs> Sorry, Oliver, no luck. Come on, Renee. I'll show you the Bracer Guild. Yay! 
Uh, uh, can we not, like, just buy her ice cream and then make her go away forever? Fisher's Men Guild. I wonder if there's anything actually in the Fisher's Men's Guild that we can do. <clears throat> Welcome. We, the Fisher's Men's Guild, are determined and dedicated in our quest to catch the master fish that exists throughout Liberal. What's the master fish? It's like the master sword, but it's a fish. When Link doesn't have the master sword, he gets a particularly rancid fish and slaps enemies with it. Works all the time. Eh, well, basically a big fish. They're basically the reason there are so many fans of fishing in Liberal. Renee, did you ever fish with your papa? <laughs> oh, Estelle. Fishing's for kids and guys, right? Uh, I guess. But I'd do it. It's pretty fun. Really? Well, maybe I'll try it then. Oh, well, I guess we can't do anything in the Fisher's Guild. And run into that pole, though. Tita? Oh, yeah, I forgot Tita's here. We're back, Onan. Oh. Hi, Estelle. Oh, God, they are, they're all gonna have the same voice, and I don't even remember what. Oh, that's it, never mind. Hello again, Miss Bright. We seem to be running into each other quite a bit these days. Oh, uh, hey there, Colonel Sid. Pop you, old man, what sons you, Sid. We're back from Weston Fortress, I see. That's right. I just arrived here a little while ago on uh, one of our patrol ships. I apologize for the wait. That's okay. We actually had a little job of our own to take care of. Hmm? Speaking of which, would that young lady be? Ah, you're right. Yeah, she is. Some stuff went down, so we had to bring her along. Hey, Renee, we've got some things we need to talk about with the army man. Can you go wait on the second floor where nobody is so that you can just escape? Oh, is this work stuff? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I don't mind. You're just like Papa. It's always work, work, work. I don't really like that very much. I don't really give a shit. Estelle, knock her out and tie her up and throw her upstairs. Uh... Um, Renee, right? Do you want to talk for a little while? I want to get to know you. With you? Well, I... Okay, I guess we could. <laughs> okay, we'll be on the second floor, Estelle. Tita being useful and saving the, the, the day here, man. <sighs> Saved by the Tita. Hmm, well, your report on the situation can wait for now. Let's hear our Colonel Sid first. Sure. Why well, on, Sid? Thank you, I'm in a hurry myself. So this is an official request from the Royal Army. There's a serious series of incidents we'd like you to investigate. Incidents? Why does the way you say that make me shiver a bit? You are aware of the non-aggression pact, yes? I'm afraid threatening letters have been delivered to all parties involved in the signing. Someone's threatening the treaty? That's... that's not good at all. No shit, Chloe. What did the letters say, exactly? Please have a look. To all parties involved in the non-aggression pact, immediately back down from this act, act of deceit and false compromise. Should you not, a great disaster will be visited upon you. Well, I mean, it is kind of a fake treaty. Tita approval. <laughs> Fucking Tita. Not my favorite character at all. What in the... Yeah, that's a threat, all right. Is this the whole thing? Yes, that's the entire thing. As you may have noticed, there's no name or any other indication of a sender. Normally, I'd simply dismiss it as a prank, however... However, something about the situation makes you believe it's more than a bad joke, yes? Yes, the volume of the letters sent, you see. The first arrived at Lyston Fortress. Copies were then sent to the airship company, Grantel Cathedral, Hotel Ronbaum, and the Liberal News Source Service. Then, copies arrived at both the Arbonian and Calverad embassies, the Arab Royal Villa, and even Grantsel Castle itself. Nine letters in total. Okay, you made it sound like there were a lot more than that. 
Who'd send that many letters? Yeah, that'd be a lot of work for one prank in poor taste. I can see why the army would start to get concerned. I don't get it, though. The airship company, the liberal news, the freaking hotel, and the church? They all seem to have anything to do with the sign-in. Anyone who would support it, maybe? Hmm? Ways of getting there, etc.? They're not entirely unrelated, to be honest. The airship company shall be sending out the charter vessels to ferry the Imperial and Republican officials here. See? They will, of course, be staying at the Ron Mom. Furthermore, the church, or specifically Archbishop Curant at the Cathedral, has been asked to be an observer at the signing. And the Liberal News has been preparing a special report on the pact and signing for weeks. So they are all connected somehow. So, do we have any idea who's behind it? That could be a difficult question to answer. This is an international matter, meaning anyone from Liberal or Bonia or Calvrod could be responsible. Yes, the war hawks in either the Empire or the Republic, for starters. It could even be someone from another country entirely who isn't happy to see all three countries working together. Of course, there are plenty of suspects in Liberal as well. And we can't forget the obvious answer, the society. So, what exactly do you want us to investigate here, Sid? Right then, the mission. We would like for you to investigate all the locations that have received the letters, and see if anyone has any further leads. Minus Lyston and Herb, that is, we'll handle those. The other seven locations are yours. So the airship company, Grantsel Cathedral, Hotel Ronbaum, the Liberal News, the Erbonian Embassy, the Calvarad Embassy, and Grantsel Castle. That would involve a bit of walking. Huh, <laughs> more to the point, uniformed soldiers asking around would attract a great deal of unwanted attention. Now that you lack the an intelligence division, it makes sense to ask the guild to help investigate such matters. As embarrassing as the situation is, you're exactly right. Without a functional intelligence division, we're limited in what we can do. However, the new general plan from the top brass is to have the guild help us with as many tasks as possible. This is simply one case of that. Oh really? Thanks a heap, Dad. Yeah, that's about what I'd expect from the old man. <laughs> I must admit it was my request to ask for you, however. I have been placed in charge of the defense of the capital region until the signing ceremony. I'd like as much information as I can possibly obtain in order to prepare a proper defense. Ask you take this job? Yeah, well, I do want to help, but we're really kinda hit deep in another case at the point. That girl, right. Let us hear your report on that situation now. Yep. I see, yes. An abandoned child is a problem you cannot simply ignore. Why would anyone do such a thing? It's kind of freaking me out, too. I actually met her parents once briefly. They seemed like this really thoughtful, loving couple. They adore Renee, from what I saw. I have to think something really, really serious happened to them to make them leave her. <clears throat> Or maybe, I don't know, they're one of the people from one of the countries who's coming to the signing and got an unfortunate letter. So they decided to leave her as some sort of protection for her, and ran off. Or, again, somehow one of them's related to Orbros. Oh hey, Anna, welcome. Yes, you did miss Skyrim. There were... Ask Gerkstoff, and there were some interesting events in Skyrim, and we learned about the wonderful fetish of jizz-filled uh, donuts. Hmm, possibly. They may have gotten entangled in something and wanted to keep the child out of it. I do see an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone, however. Huh? Renee and her parents are foreigners, remember? You need to inquire at the hotel and embassies regardless. I think I know where you're going with this. And it just so happens they got threatened. We'd want to check with the airship company too, come to think of it. I'll put out a general alert to all army posts to watch for our parents as well. Should they pass through any of the check gate checkpoints, yeah, we should know. Thanks, Colonel. Sounds like you can take the job after all. 
Colonel, you may leave the investigation itself to us. I presume you'll want the final report in paper and in person, however. Yes, we'd prefer to avoid telephones to avoid any risk of interception. You'll be able to find me at the Herb Royal Villa beginning today, actually. I'm sorry for the extra trouble, but could I ask that you bring the final report there in person? Sure. We'll see you at the villa once we know what's up. I uh, wish you luck, then. Oh yes, there was quite an interesting conversation about fetishes. Yeah, there was. Another stream you have to watch afterwards. Yep. She wanted to look up for a second. At least exhausted. Yeah. Well, don't worry. I'm probably going to be ending the stream soon because I'm hungry. And I said I was probably only going to be able to do an hour of tits. I didn't want this to be too huge of a stream. Because I do have some work that I need to do. Which I probably will again not do because I'm a lazy fuck. But... I'm gonna be packed tomorrow for getting things done. I've got, uh, some shit to read and write stupid, useless summaries about. Yay. And then I have something a little more substantial to do. Stelz ain't offering Chloe were to head to the embassies and all those areas. Well, Agate would investigate the Cathedral Hotel airship company on his own. Ah, oh, shit, we're splitting up? Okay, we'll be heading out. Peter, Rene, sorry to leave you two behind. Oh, it's okay. We're going out shopping. I have loads of cash. You wouldn't understand it, you plebeian. Uh, what? Sorry, Estelle. Renee really wants to visit the department store. Why, that's not how I remember things, Tita. As I recall, you were the one who said she wanted to look at all the stuffed animals. Uh, Renee... Uh, uh... Uh, okay, um, I know you're bored, Renee, but since I'm not sure when we'll find out something about your parents, I'd like for you to wait here. Oh, come on, so not fair, double dog eyes. There's- No, get Agate in there to be like, no, fuck off. Uh, it'll be cool- Fuck you, Agate. Either's with us, so they should be fine if they're just out shopping and stuff. I guess so. I mean, it's only a little girl who pulls out a minigun when people attack her and has a fucking hand cannon on her back. Yeah, she'll probably be alright. Okay, Tita, Renee, we'll be back by this evening, so you need to be back by then too, okay? And the capital is a really big place, so don't get lost. We will, and we won't. We don't know which one she was answering which with. Renee, let's go. After you. See you, everyone. I hate Renee. Okay, Anna. En enjoy your ride home from... I assume... Just wait, you're still celebrating St. Patrick's Day? That was like three days ago, or two days ago. <laughs> they sure became fast friends. Yeah, it's really easy to become friends at that age. Man, you... I feel all old now. Although, Dita and Renee together, why does that combination send a chill of doom down my spine? Oh, I think they'll be fine. Tita's kind of easy to push around, though. I get the feeling Renee might try to drag her in all kinds of stuff. That might be a good point. Oh yeah, come on. Did you get the names of that kid's parents? It took a little investi- insisting- insisted asking, rather. But she eventually gave them. Her father is a traitor from Crossbell. Harold and Sophia Hayworth are their names. Traitor from Crossbell. Harold and Sophia Hayworth. Okay, I got it written down. Yeah, I got to. Alright, let's get this investigation started. So remember, Estelle's group will visit the embassies, Gransel Castle, and Liberal News. Zane, Oliver, we will be counting on you, your aid at the embassies. Fear not, my brilliant smile can open any door. We'll make sure you see the ambassadors. Your Highness, your help will be invaluable at Gransel Castle. Please introduce a stale to whoever can best help our investigation. Of course. As for the liberal news, I believe you yourself had in for that, Estelle. Yeah, I can bug Niall about it. He kinda owes me big at this point. At least the Cathedral, the Airship Company, and Ronbaum. Agate, good luck with those. Don't fuck up. No prob. 
This doesn't take too long. So let's go. You can't celebrate in the middle of the week and the pub isn't open at Thursday. Really? Why isn't a pub open on Thursday? Odd. Time to get questioned and then, how should we start? Don't think it matters too much. If you want to go to the Calvin Embassy, you've got a free pass with me around. I can introduce you to Elsa whenever. I, of course, can get us into the Erbodian Embassy. They should be glad to escort us if I introduce myself at the gate. Yeah, because they probably want to fucking capture you again, like at the end of first chapter. And of course, I rather doubt it'll be very hard for me to get us into Grantle Castle. It might be wise to simply go straight there and speak with Grandmother. I kind of doubt the liberal news will give us any trouble either, so... Eh, let's just pick a direction and go! Back to the guild to see side quests. Yep. We still have that one, and then the missing exhibit, which is a short term. One of our exhibits was removed by someone. The History Museum. Hmm, I wonder who removed it. Not particularly valuable items. It's, uh, oh, okay, never mind then. Oh, another hide-and-seek mission. Still E-Class. And, yeah, I think we'll probably end it here. Because, again, I'm hungry. I want to sub. So, yeah, we got an hour of tits. I wanted more, but, again, we didn't get too far in Skyrim either, unfortunately, thanks to... Yeah, thanks to that. Um, <laughs> fucking dragons. But, uh... Yeah, thanks to the people who came out while we were here. Anna, Gerkstaven, apparently Joe showed up. Probably, he came during tits, I think. He probably left because of spoiler reasons. Charlotte was here. Swift, the bridge girl, or I, whatever, someone named that. JHK was here. Of course, Night Cunt was here. And, uh, oh yeah, Hydra as well. So thank all of you guys for showing up to the stream on um, Monday. Not sure what I'll do Monday. Maybe I'll do more tits Monday. Maybe I won't. Not sure. Um, but we'll get something down for Monday. And, by the way, are you going to stream a little bit more tits on Monday? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm, I probably will at least stream a bit of tits on Monday then. Along with something else. I'm not sure what else, though. I'm not even sure what I'm playing anymore at this point. I, I guess I'm also doing... Dan and Dan, but I don't know if I want to do that either. Huh. Yeah, not sure. Uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do. Probably some tits, yeah, but then something else maybe. So, Monday will be something like that. But anyways, thank you guys for showing up. And I will uh, yeah, I'll be back Monday. Hopefully get the first of the Skyrim Legendary stuff up tonight or early tomorrow and then get the second one up soon as well, so gotta get that up on YouTube, but uh, thank you guys for showing up, and bleep.